How's it everyone? This is Lockhole, and in today's video we are going to be doing some rog crafting, see what we can get and maybe I can talk you through some of my thinking when I'm doing this. Rog has always been very good profit. If you want to run him, you can buy these expedition logbooks with Order of the Chalice. I like to look out for ones with quantity of artifacts dropped by monsters. These you can buy for about 20 chaos each and these will drop the artifacts that you need to do for rog crafting. Scrap metal, these are very cheap. You can normally buy these for about half a chaos, less than a chaos. So for that reason, we can be very picky with the starting points that we have. Now, I also have a little regex that I like to use. Let's get started. This is gonna be a supercut of everything that's interesting and I'll explain what I'm doing and why. So the regex is currently highlighting all items that are item level 86 and then also things with all level of skill gems and then suppression and I think that's all but we'll see. I am still looking at everything else but you can see here level up all physical spell skill gems. I might actually take this just to buy it. So the reason I'm picking up things like this is because of recombinators. So if I get something with plus one level of all I can maybe recombine it with something else to get something good. But let's try and make a good item. This ring, this is a very good starting point. Chaos res suffix on an amethyst based with attributes. Attributes are very popular. So I'm going to skip this. Well, now I'm going to use this so that I don't have to skip the next. Now, do I want to skip strength? I don't think so. We're just hoping we don't get a reroll. Remove all suffixes, of course. Well, Sag, but we can, again, keep this as a recombinator base. Maybe, maybe we can combine it with something else nice. All right, these are, these are great. These are very, very nice. We've got tier one lightning resistance, tier two spell suppression, and tier one life. And now we've got upgraded mod by one tier. The only thing it can hit is spell suppression. So let's do that. Add a prefix, obviously hoping for movement speed, which we don't hit. I am happy to reroll prefixes here lowest tier yeah we don't want to reroll suffixes upgrade a mod by a tier add a prefix there's tier two movement speed reroll suffixes now these are okay they're not worth a fortune i would probably keep these aside as maybe a pair of boots that i would want to annul maybe we can do that at the end there's some stuff that these need removed and if we hit it it'll be great if we don't, it's not really worth anything. Here again, spell suppression, nice. Upgrade four mods by tier, excellent. So now we have two on lightning res, two on spell suppression. That's very good. If we can add on another suffix. Add suffix, please something good. Strength, I'll take it. And now we get to level up three mods by tier. We get that strength up to tier. Oh, okay, these, these are excellent. Even though the prefixes are not good, the suffixes are incredible. If we could swap out that lightning res for dexterity, it would be great, but these are a good hit. Now, here again, boots, spell suppression. Once we finish a pair of these, you'll see what they're worth. Upgrade two mods by a tier, excellent. Remove suffixes, add a prefix, reroll prefix, good. If we can get movement speed on these, nope. I think reroll prefixes. Maybe we get lucky and get movement speed. No. Again, though, decent suffixes. Not that good. I don't know if that's worth keeping. This one's going all right. We do want to get that spell suppression up. Nah. So this one, I mean, it's got 100 life, a bit of chaos res, elemental res, and spell suppression. It's not amazing, but... These people seem to be listing it for about an X, so let's let's put it up for 120 chaos and see. So you can see this is the value of spell suppression and also chaos res. Both of those are worth a bunch. That chest, not amazing, but maybe someone will buy it. We'll see. All right, we've got decent suffixes here. Do you want to reroll those? We want to reroll, yeah. This is actually very nice. What we want now is to 
add a suffix. So this is a bit risky. Fill empty modifier slots. Wow. Okay, this is really good. Hopefully he gives us a... Yeah, no. No reforge or remove, but this is a ring with 120 resistance. 74 life alone. That is worth 20, 35 chaos. We put on recouped his life. 80 chaos three days ago. Eh. I'm sure there is some build with also energy shields and this. That's going to really want this. So we can maybe pop this up for like... Maybe an X. It's a bit niche, but it might sell. Alright, we've got flaring and fire damage and lightning damage. This is a bad base and a bad level. I don't think we can get tier 1. So, oh wow. This is such a weird bow. If that, oh man, if that flaring was instead tier 1 something else. 40 chaos with an additional arrow. That is wild. The market is nuts. However, this is an amazing, amazing base to maybe recombine. What's this? Lightning, cold, crit, attack speed. All right, this is some mega copium. I know this is not exactly optimal because these things are full. However, maybe, maybe we can smush together some of it. But yeah, Mega Copium, I don't think this is going to work out. Obviously, what we're hoping for is the Imperial Bow with the lightning damage, the fire damage, and then the cold damage on the left, and then the attack speed and the additional arrow. We got the Imperial Bow. We got the lightning damage. We got the fire damage. We got the cold damage. We got the crit chance. We got the attack speed. Oh, this is a 1,400 elemental bow. That was so lucky. And it's rolled all nicely. It's rolled very nicely. And it has crit chance. That bleeding is gross, but we'll take it. Unbelievable. All right, so we can list this. Let's just check out like 1300 on the trade site. Yeah, so ours is 1396. And wow. I cannot believe that actually worked. It's also on a decent base. Maybe not the best base. You might want like a spine bow or a thicker bow. But Imperial bow is still a great bow. And you can see 1399. This one's actually very similar to ours. And it's 18x and it hasn't sold. So we can probably list this for 15x. And it should sell very quickly. Alright, Rog's good. Rog is good. Okay, we're back. I've uh, I've dehyperventilated. I've reventilated. This, uh, you know what? You look at something like this, this astral plate. You think this is crazy. This must be worth a ton. It has tier two life. It has chaos res, fire res, cold res. This is a kind of item you just want to take. Go over to the crafting bench. Craft on percent life, which we we have not actually found. But let's give this a price check. A few leagues ago, this probably would have been worth many, many exalts. But now let's see. I mean, look at this. This one's better than ours. It doesn't have an open prefix, but 80 chaos, 80 chaos, and it's not selling. This one is six linked, a bit worse than ours. 10x, not selling. This thing, I would be surprised if it even sells for an X. We can do the chance to avoid ailments just to show that it has an open prefix. Maybe list it for a bit, but this could be good. It has res, dex, spell suppression. Of course, we're going to have to get those up a tier, remove those. That's actually very good. And this is item level 86, so we can maybe get this to tier 1. Fire res, all res. Hmm, this is very nice. However, a lot of builds that use these are going to be using Omni, although... Who can afford Omni right now? We can give this a price check. It does not have life, but it has 90 res and spell suppression. Even something simple like this is about 30 chaos. If you're just starting out, do we have any other shields? We can maybe try squish these together. I know it's not optimal. 
The one on the right has spell suppression resistances, the one on the left has life but a lot of crap mods. We can see Lacked Bucker, Buckler, good, bad life, okay, Cold Res, Fire Res, okay. Now, this is decent, however, again, it's not going to sell for as much as you think because it lost that spell suppression. So this, 100 life, 120 res, open prefix is about 5 chaos. Here's a good starting point. We have fire res. Yeah, this is actually very nice. Reroll prefixes, add a prefix, reroll prefix, add a suffix. We're really hoping for resistance. No. Please. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. This is nice. So this is a ring with 164 all res and an open prefix so we can craft on life. Something like this should sell for a decent amount of currency. It solves someone's problems. If we qualitied it up, we would end up with something like this. So 3x, 3x, 4x, 5x. We could list it for, I don't know, 2, 1.5. An x is an x. So let's make it 1.7 exalted orbs. Has very good suffixes. I'm not going to waste currency on qualitying it up. But yeah, very nice little ring. Decent prefixes on these boots. Maybe we can re-roll into something good. Suppress? Ooh, yeah. Okay, now this is good. Life, movement speed, spell suppression. Please give us increased level. Yes. Okay. We don't want to re-roll prefixes. We don't want to re-roll suffixes. All right, here we go. Movement speed, resistances, spell suppression. What are you worth? 2x. These ones are, yeah, okay, 1x. This person really wants to sell them. 2x for these, about. And then also what we can do just to, I guess, play around a bit is just hit it with a, a thing like that. Maybe we get a bit more movement speed. You don't have to do this. Bleeding inflicts damage faster. We can list these for, probably put up for one point five exalted orbs just so it sells all spell skill gems or cold spells. wait what level of all spell skill gems this mod alone is two exalted orbs okay so yeah keep an eye out for this apparently this alone is worth 2x just for that one modifier you know what sounds like a hell of a lot more fun than just listing it <laughs> taking a gamble <laughs> This is a terrible idea, but maybe, maybe these squish together in a, a positive way. Don't do this, please. I know this is the wrong thing. Don't even waste your time commenting. I know this is stupid, but it's fun. So we're going to do it. Shagreen boots. Cool. Life. Oh, oh, movement speed is gone. Oh, no, this was bad. Why do I not listen to myself? Okay, 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 okay. Shut up. Okay, you can leave in the comments that I'm stupid just to remind me. Thank you. Let's uh, move on. All right, so we've done a whole lot of stuff. We made some cool things. We made this. This is not going to sell for 4x. Make it, I mean, I'd be surprised if it sold for 1x. We've got this. This maybe sell for 2x. We got our amazing bow, which probably will sell for 18. We can drop it down to 17 maybe, just to sell it quickly. We have these boots, life, spell suppression, movement speed, resistances, 1.5x, probably worth more. We have this ring, which if we qualityed up would probably be about 180, 190, all resistances. This one, a bit more niche, life, resistances, and damage taken recuperates life. And I think that's about all that we made. We also have nice gloves. These are things I made on stream yesterday. By the way, you can follow me on stream. This is a very nice claw that I did similarly with ROG and then recombiners. Yeah, so these are all the things. We did 100 rerolls. That was a bit over an hour that we spent. We made this bow. If everything sells, which eh, it probably won't sell for exactly what I had listed for, but definitely over 20 exalted orbs. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video, but I suppose as a reward for making it this far in the video, my quick tips for 
crafting with rog get yourself some of these and then you can use my little regex which will be linked in the description keep a look out for spell suppression gear that sells for a bunch and then bows which can re-roll the elemental damage those are some of my favorites imperial claws are good just for the base also keep a look out for things like this if you just see something with level of all spell skill gems this is with 2x just as is boots are very nice if you get life movement speed spell suppression it should sell for a fair amount i would avoid armor unless you can get something with very good spell suppression again just resistances eh, not worth all that much so let me know have you been doing some rod crafting have you had much success with it what do you think was this fun to watch do you want to see more anyway have a wonderful day everyone stay safe and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye Exile, you're making me nervous.